Hey Internet, this is Robert from Crick Games, coming at you live at Gen Con. This is the 50th anniversary of Gen Con, really excited to be here, 2017. Uh, i got a corner booth. We're here with uh, Tabletop Bazaar. Um, if you're here at Gen Con, come stop by and see us. Stream this out, Twitter, Periscope, everything. Uh, how you doing, sir? Yes. Yeah. Hi, Hi James. Nice yeah, good yeah. to meet you, man. Yeah. Oh, I haven't met you in person yet. This is yeah, like, I think we did Skype. Right? Yeah, we, I, yeah, we did, a, yeah. did that once. Yeah, yeah. Just so you know, I'm, I'm streaming uh, live on uh, Twitch right now. Okay. So you can say hi to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> how <are> you? <laughs> yeah, how you doing? Good. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I came by. I've been running around a meeting, so yeah. I might not see you again. <laughs> are you going to be here on Sunday? Like, yeah. End, end of day type of thing? Oh, well, yeah. We'll, I'll be here helping tear down the booth. So okay. Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stop by on Sunday and like chat with you a little bit because okay, I want to uh, pick your brain about uh, okay. uh, how things are doing and yeah because I think our last guys so are we sold out uh, this like the last of it um, did we I, ship again you got stuff um, in stock right now you had about 200 some odd uh, last time I talked okay, to you guys but that, that was before that was, ship, right? but that was before Gen Con hit so I don't know where you're at right now okay yeah I apologize <laughs> I don't know either uh, yeah. I'm not sure it, it's selling though you know, yeah. so I'm happy I'm so. excited when we're I go to a convention I find people that like they, they picked it up in a game store. Okay, um, they, they they know they heard about it uh, either from the Kickstarter, like echoing that type okay. of thing, or they'll at, at a trade shows. Like I've done a few different trade. I did Origins uh, right. earlier this year, and that went really well. So it was fun. I had like a little booth, and I was ready to go. And okay. yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Well, so it's working, with, right? It's working. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So we just gotta keep pushing it out there. Yeah. But yeah, as far as I know, I get like reorders pretty consistently. Okay. That's the key, right? I always tell you. The initial order doesn't really matter that much. It's the reorder. Sure. If there's no reorder, if there's a pickup it's over, afterwards, right? yeah, yeah, I mean, like it's moving out of the store. Right, that but if thing. it keeps going, that means it's selling through. Distributors go, okay, I'll keep restocking it because it's still moving. I I did a whirlwind tour uh, a few weeks ago where I stopped in to see a bunch of family. So was yeah. it? I was in Kansas City, St. Louis, went down to Southern California to see people, and I was like stopping at a bunch of game stores around there, uh -huh. and I was amazed, like a couple of them like had it on stock. That's cool. And then like, <laughs> yeah, that was really fun. Like you, you walk in, I was like started talking about it, and this one right. clerk brought me over, he's like, I think they're right here. Or like they'll, you know, they'll, um, they'll learn about it, and I'll be like, yeah, yeah talk, talk to Hit Point Sales, like they'll hook you up with some stuff, okay. and like. Yeah, because, uh, you know, most of them are buying it just through the regular distributor. Yeah. I don't sell too many direct to retail accounts. I have a few, but not okay. a lot. And so and it's because I don't carry the hottest games. I only carry the games I represent. Right? Yeah, right on. So it makes sense for them to buy just through the regular distribution. Okay. So that's the goal. So is that through ACD then mostly or? Yeah, like ACD and GTS carry almost everything I offer. I yeah. can't remember, but like Alliance will pick and choose. Yeah. Uh, PhD picks and chooses. Did, did Alliance care about this? Or? <laughs> Alliance has not ordered it as far as Oh, okay. But They're special. They're I met, well, so, yeah, I met with them here at the show, but like even a year ago, I didn't have an account with them. Oh, totally. So my business is growing. Yeah. Which is good for you because then it has a better chance to like get into new distribution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, I've added a bunch of international. Talking about the too. game store has been really interesting as well because some of them will do alliance. Uh, yeah. Some of them will do like uh, they, they like having one person to go to. Yeah. But they they so don't want to have like only one choice. So yeah, exactly. Like, Everyone has their main. Their main. Yeah. And then they have a backup. And then St. Louis area, I guess Southern Hobby is like right there. So okay, like a bunch yeah. of them are like, hey, the warehouse is right here. We just like walk around the block exactly. and away we go. So, so if you go talk retailer to retailer, yeah. they let me, all have- Let me help with these kids real quick. Yeah, we'll, let me we'll, we'll chat it up. All right, we'll see. <laughs> it's good to see you in, yeah, in, see in person right. at the show, right? How are you guys doing? Pretty good, how are you? Doing well, do you play D&D? Yes. Right on, this is our uh, fifth edition. Uh, th these are the Kickstarter we did um, last year with the condition cards and the combat cards. So these have your standard 5D conditions. Um, as, a, as a DM, I'll throw them down on the, on the table. They're sitting in front of my players. Um, in my group, actually, I have a couple of new players. So on the reverse side yep, is a quick little reference for it, nice. ready to go. Or even, I mean, if you're playing for a long time, you forget something. You're like, how did yep. that work exactly? Um, uh, so I know which player has it. I see it on the table, visual reminder. Uh, these guys, um, these are things you need for combat. I'm always forgetting this one, concentration as a wizard. Yep. There's a reason why concentration spells are special, because you can't have more than one. And it has your standard um, Cover, dying, exhaustion, these types of things. Yeah, those are neat. And then what we're doing uh, for Gen Con um, and for our latest Kickstarter, we have a giveaway going on right now for the set of, of these guys. Uh, so if you want to sign up, there is, you just go to uh, crickgames.com uh, and there's a um, contest we have going on. You can, you can uh, click it and find it or go like give, giveaway.crickgames.com, any of those places, you'll uh, you'll find it. And you the can, giveaway is for this? 
You can enter to win the, the set of uh, condition and combat cards. If you want to pick them up now, Tabletop Bazaar has a stack of them you can pick up. And then this is what we're doing for our Kickstarters. This is a um, player kit. It has a laser engraved uh, box. This is a, a walnut uh, wood. And then we're, so I love having like, like things ready to go, and especially as like a player, like managing all my stuff. Yeah. So this is a little um, player dry race board. Nice. And what it allows you to do, so things are changing a lot in combat, right? So like your hit points, um, it has, uh, I put the AC at the top so like your DM can look down and know who has what AC without having to ask you or like, you know, write it down, that type of thing. You can put your inspiration in the upper right. So when you, you spend your inspiration or, or what have you, you can, you can mark it there. And as your hit points kind of roll around inside of combat, just dry erase it off and, and put the new one on, ready to go. And this is my favorite piece of like the RPG player kit is like the, How much the dry erase boards. For the, for the Kickstarter, you can pick it up for, for 10 bucks pledge. And if you want to do um, each element in the kit um, is like is 10 bucks and the whole thing together is, is 50 bucks for like a whole box package ready to go. So we're also doing the um, action cards. Oh, so that's what that is right there? Yeah. So okay. we're going to do some cover art on, on these guys. And the concept is, um, I actually taught my wife how to play D&D. And one of her first, first things was, well, what do I do? Like, what, are, what, what, what can I do in a role playing game? And these guys, um, we're doing a, several different sets of these. We're doing a fifth edition set with all your standard 5e conditions, yep. the movement on there, bonus and reaction. And then what I do with like a, a table with a lot of players is I'll have them pre-select what they want to do. They'll lay it down in front of them and then I can just rip, rip through the turn yep. order. It's ready to go. I've been kind of thinking about doing something like that for myself. So that's a great idea. And then if you have, the best one is if you have a ready action, sit down the ready action, sit down what you're going to do with it. You won't forget that. Hey, I readied my myself for this. Whatever the DM can see it in front of you as well, so you don't you know you don't forget that you you know had that had that ready to go. And then these are coming with uh, color coded dice sets. So we have um, each of the dice color coded. So you throw them in there. You get a couple sets. It's really easy to you know grab grab the set. Or uh, again, like I work with a lot of like new new players. So like, well, which one's the D twenty? Like, well, pick up the pick up the orange one, right? Like that's that's one you need to to roll it. Can I find you on Kickstarter just typing this in? Yeah, if you okay. if you type in Crit Games, you can find us there. Or go to our webpage. Our landing page basically has our, our Kickstarter okay. stuff, and you can I, see I it all. Where can we buy these two you're selling right now? Yeah, you, yeah, you can, you can yeah. if you want to pick those up now, you can. Or you can just add them onto the Kickstarter. I have them available there. And it has the uh, Kickstarter bonuses that I did as well. So it has extended um, initiative cards. So you have your numeric cards you hand out for initiative. Oh, nice. It'll uh, view it on, on the Kickstarter. You can get the, pick out the bonuses. When do you think all the stuff on the Kickstarter is going to actually get released? Uh, it'll be uh, in January is my target. So it's, okay. it's running right now. It'll end uh, mid-September. Yep. And then we're going to be doing all the all the production, shipments, ev everything, and then do like fulfillment in I mean, uh, I January. I stuff, but I feel like I also want to remember to buy something for me now. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Well, you, you can pick it up online. If you want these cards, you can, you can grab that now. Or if you do a pledge, it'll be ready to go for you w when you want it, right? So the is it, uh, this is going to be a random question. Sure. I wanted to buy these now, but I kind of wanted the, the extra stuff. Can I, like, message you on? Oh, totally, sort of yeah. Page, so I, I can buy these now. You, and you, I can you can pick up the bonuses on our website, too. So, like, um, you just go to quickgames.com. There's a shop there. You can you can order the Kickstarter ones that we did, which were the like exclusive ones. Add that to your set, or if you uh, if you buy these here, you can pledge for the Kickstarter and then um, uh, do it as an add-on for the for the bonuses. We, we, we can do that. It'd be like uh, like 10, ten bucks for like the the bonuses if you want to put that into your pledge. How much is it to add these on to the Kickstarter? Uh, so we did the decks, both of them together for twenty five, okay. and then all the bonus cards plus those decks for thirty five. You want to pick up like a whole the whole previous Kickstarter package, basically. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And then I think for I the do the Kickstarter, then that sounds like yeah. Awesome. And we're doing the Kickstarter uh, piecemeal, so if you only want one thing out of here, yep. it's ten bucks, ten bucks, or ten bucks. So How many of these do you get? Uh, there's one? one in the kit. Okay. Yeah. And if you want to pick up extras? It's an add-on. And if you want to do the. Backer kit. So. I'm, I started off with the idea of doing backer kit, and then I got worried that because um, they take your your shipping from Kickstarter and they do it instead, so I, wa I wanted to make sure I got funded. So I'm like, okay, we'll just include everything as as part of the deal. We'll try it that way. But um, I, I think next time I will because this one especially has a lot of little like, oh, I want this, not that, that type of thing. So yeah, I probably made my life easier. Like, oh, I wish I would have added. <laughs> yeah, it, it'll be possible. I'll make that possible. So I, I, um, I'm, I'm in tech background, so we'll figure it out. We'll make it happen. <laughs> and then the whole the whole package, you can get the entire kit for 50 bucks. That's the, the box, player kit, action cards, dice. And then this is what I want to do as the stretch goal is the uh, inspiration tokens. So you can hand these out to players. Or, um, you know, the DM can uh, hand it out to you, then you, when you spend it, you physically hand it back, so you can get a set of these for your, your table. What's that? 
or fate points. Yeah, the, the other thing we're doing with this kit is we're having options for other RPGs. We have um, Pathfinder, uh, and we talked with Savage Worlds to do some of their stuff. So we're going to swap out like action cards for the different systems. So if you play something else, we'll swap it in. And I have a couple requests for Call of Cthulhu. So I'm, you know, I'm going to go talk to their Chaos Lamb is here. The guy who made the game, um, it, Rick, is here. And I'm going to go uh, work it out with him to add those on as a yeah, as an option. Yeah, right on. I mean, if you can get extra ones. <laughs> what? Oh, it'll work. It's a great gift, by the way. Yeah, they're on the table right around the corner there. Thank you. Yeah, right on. Good to meet you guys. How you guys doing? Doing well. <laughs> How are you? Hey, guys. How you doing? How you guys doing?
went to Stanford, actually. <laughs> no, no, not at MIT. Uh, did you go to MIT? I did. Oh, right on. We call it Stanford MIT West. Oh, it's, yeah. well, yeah. I, I wish I had a brass rat, though. That'd be, that'd be freaking awesome to yeah, have one of those. I but. Get one yeah. <laughs> when did when, uh, when you graduate? What was your? 94. Okay. Okay, 2009. So. Yeah, so a little bit before you. I did actually did go to Stanford and I um, I taught a short course there, not a oh, right not on. a university course, but like a, a thing for the computer science department. And cool. I gotta say, I actually taught in a bunch of places, and my all the places I went, MIT and Stanford were my favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're great, just like great schools. Yeah. Good, good, I loved it. Yeah. I, I did electrical engineering. Yeah, I did a uh, undergrad yeah. masters, and like it was awesome. That's like I absolutely too, loved it. I did undergrad and masters. Uh, yeah. So yeah same. Cool, man. I, I work for Intel right now. My, uh, this is my contact for the company I'm doing on the side. Uh, cool. My day job is a uh, software uh, programmer and uh, uh, product manager. Uh, but my nighttime job is to play games and do fun like this, stuff like this on the side. Awesome. So crickgames.com cr is what I'm doing. What do you, guys, what do you got? Yeah. Uh, we're doing, so we did a Kickstarter last year. Um, these are our fifth edition condition cards and combat cards. So the concept of these is I'm a DM, uh, something happens in my game, yeah, yeah, and I yeah. hand it out to a player, and I put sure. it physically in front of them, yeah. and then on the, the reverse side is the quick roll reference for it. Okay. So I, I play with a lot of like new players, and like um, remembering those types of things, or I DM a lot, and I just want to keep all that stuff in my head, um, put that down to the table, ready to go. Our Kickstarter went uh, uh, super well, so we're actually um, partnered with these, these guys, Tabletop Bazaar, they actually have some of these um, over here today. Um, and we're here because we're doing a uh, giveaway for these guys, so you can sign up uh, to our giveaway to get a, get a free set to them. And we're also doing our second Kickstarter, which is an RPG player kit. So the idea is, so this is for DMs. Yep. And I'll give you my card, man. Oh, yeah, that works even And better. then um, this is a, a wooden dice box. It's laser engraved. Uh, it's walnut, so like, you know, nice, nice hardwood for it. And then um, I always love having, um, you know, things for my players that they can do, especially like that they're going to interact with a lot. So these are uh, dry erase uh, player boards. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's cool. These are really nice. Oh yeah, like I, I, I talked with a lot of different manufacturers to yeah, like yeah. get they're it really so it's nice. like nice and thick and like nice, you know, really sturdy. Um, a bunch of them like had a hard time doing like the smaller sizes. Like they always want to do like giant sheets of, of like yeah. dry erase. I'm like, no, 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 no. This has got to be like, that's I cool. sit it down in front of me at the table, ready to go. It's got your AC, inspiration, Stuff that's always changing, like your hit points, temporary, yeah. death saves, and then like stuff in combat, right? Like someone, got, someone gets poisoned, you write it down, or like something special happens, you just write it down there, ready to go. And then the kit comes with, so the player dry erase board. Um, I did a color-coded dice set. Um, again, like, I play with a lot of new players, or if like you want to grab a handful of dice for damage, you grab all the blue ones for a D8, right? You just reach in your bag and, and get them. Um, and then we want to do this as a stretch goal. These are the like inspiration tokens. And then the other thing that comes in the set, um, these are um, action cards. So the idea is, um, you know, a lot of people doing RPGs, like, um, it's completely open-ended, right? Like, they don't know what to do or, like, how, how to do that type of thing. Uh, this shows them all. Or if you have a large group of people, uh, what I have my players do is I'll, I'll give everyone a set of action cards, and then I'll hand down uh, what it is. So you're going to ready an action, and I'm going to use this object on the action. And then as a DM, I can see it on the table. I know I know what they're doing. I'll have everyone, like, pre-select it. So when we go through a turn order, you know, you're not, like, thinking about what you're doing. You have stuff ready to go, and I just, like, zip through the turn order, ready to go. So it's got the, the standard actions there, the, the movements, and, like, what it means if you're crawling, what it means if you're... You know, if you're going prone or jumping or whatever it is, it's got it there ready to go. You're not flipping through your book and being like, oh, what does swimming do to me again? Like, it's, it's this. And then the way running the Kickstarter is you can pick up either, like, hot, like a la carte, you can pick up what you want, or you can pick up the whole player kit. Um, all, a la carte, 10 bucks for in individuals, 50 bucks for the whole kit. And we're also doing it so if you play a different game like Pathfinder, Savage Worlds, we talk to those guys, and we have like a way to swap in the action cards for like the system that you want. I'm gonna talk with um, the Call of Cthulhu dudes. We're over a couple aisles over to, to get them on, um, and then you know you'll you know pick the pick the kit flavor that you want and play your game, right? So yeah, I mean yeah, the little reference for it. Like I, I have like bags full of like useless uh, dice that like. You know, I have a million of them, and they, they look terrible, and, like, I can never find the right one. Uh, so just make it easy and keep it all in one place. Uh, you can pick up a couple couple dice packs to make it make it easy to play, that type of thing. I think I already gave you mine. You did, yep, I got it. When, uh, when does this launch? It's it's on right now. It's on right now. Yeah. Okay. So you can go to um, our website, Crick Games. Cool. It's on our landing page, so it's e easy to find. 
the giveaway stuff, um, that's there as well. You, you can go to the Kickstarter and find the giveaway. I, I announced it there. Okay. Um, or just head to our website. We got like link, links to that. Cool. And, and that's just to, to do enter the giveaway, all you have to do is look at the Kickstarter and then sign up for the mailing list for additional promos for stuff we're giving away for free. So it's a good, cool. good deal all around. And, and uh, the giveaway, both of those decks together. Okay. Um, you can also do the Kickstarter and pick up decks. Okay. So you, can, you can add them on. We have a special 25 bucks for both sets and 35 for all the bonus cards and stuff we did for the previous Kickstarter. You just did a big bundle and throw it into the Kickstarter as an add-on and bam, away you go. Your, your DM is decked out, ready to go, and you can gear up your, your players for uh, their, their combat. So. Awesome. That's really good luck, man. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. That's yeah. cool. Thank good to meet you guys. Yeah, <laughs> Enjoy the convention. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You said, so the decks are for sale here or? Uh, Tabletop Bazaar has them around the corner here for 15 bucks, or you can pick up the whole set for 25 through oh, our cool. Kickstarter if you just pledge in and do okay. it as an add-on. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? Play D and D? I do. Oh, right on. We did a. I was hoping sorry. Renee. Oh, okay. I was I'm, I'm Robert. You had spell cards. The, so there are official spell cards you can get from. I think uh, WizKids publishes them. Yeah, hard to find though. I haven't seen them here at all. Oh yeah. WizKids isn't here. WizKids is not here. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Wait, not WizKids. I'm thinking Wizards of the Coast. Okay. Wizards of the Coast. Oh, they, they opted Astro, out. Whatever. Oh, okay. They, well, they, show up they have their own conference now. So. Yeah, but who cares? <laughs> Actually, it was interesting. I was at um, Origins earlier this year, which was officially sponsored by Dungeons and Dragons, Wizard of the Coast. Yeah. They didn't even have a booth set up. Like they, they had no space well, for you to go to. The last time I, I was here three years ago, and the last time uh, they weren't here, but they had another company that was running the games. Oh, interesting. I forget what they were called. They were, <laughs> they were called Paizo. What's that? They were called Paizo. No, 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 Paizo. Paizo's yeah, right. the other area. Yeah. <laughs> but they were, I forget, like, so all of the living campaign stuff that they do. Like all right. RPGA, whatever they, have okay. you ever played any of that? Like the convention, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all being run by somebody else. Really? So. Well, they, they do have, um, Volunteer Adventures League people, so they might have gotten involved with it. Or. Well, and again, it's adventure, they're volunteers. Where's the yeah. official presence of... Yeah, they they, they, this they, they don't do, um, there's, I think there's a statement from Mike Merle, something to the effect of, people already know this game and don't need to see it, but I disagree. I think you I need disagree. a presence yeah. and you need to show up. I mean, uh, yeah, every fantasy dealer, generic fantasy dealer has oh, yeah, they're DVD here. books, but that's not the it, point. Oh yeah, that, that is well, like a game, all the little like booths will have them when not. Uh, th this is this is what we did for it. This is um, under the uh, open game license. We did condition cards and combat cards. This was a, a Kickstarter we did uh, last year. So you throw these down in front of your players. It's got the rules for it. 
Uh, combat ones, it's the same idea, except these are things you need in combat, right? Yeah. So concentration, dying, uh, exhaustion, rules for flank. It's optional for 5e, but rules for flanking, ready to go. And then uh, we're here because we're um, promoting as well. We're doing a giveaway uh, for these guys. Mm -hmm. um, easy, easy to find to enter in. If you go to uh, crickgames.com, um, you can find information. Um, the landing page has our has our Kickstarter, um, and then there's um, extra link in. You can find the so giveaway. This is what your Kickstarter. This is where Kickstarter is. This is the um, RPG player kit. And the concept is, so this is for DMs, right, to handle their stuff. This is for players to do to their to do theirs. This is a player dry erase board with your hit points, temporary hit points, hit yeah. dice, death saves, extra notes, AC, inspiration, this all the things like, you need right in I front like of you. Uh, yeah, no, th these are things like I want as players, I like, want to play the game with and make it possible. Uh, these guys are um, like inspiration tokens. We're going to do this as a stretch goal. We're about halfway there on our Kickstarter. Um, and then the, the whole kit comes with the player dry erase board, the color-coded dice, the dice box. Uh, hope you'll be able to do these as the, the stretch goal um, uh, for it. And then these are um, action cards. Okay. So I, I actually play with a lot of uh, players that are like new to RPGs, that type of thing. A lot of times they don't know what to do. I often have to be the one that helps, helps I them out a little bit. So like I okay. have to teach everybody. And then we're doing we're doing sets of these for 5e, Pathfinder, Savage Worlds, and we're gonna uh, talk to um, uh, Chaosium to add on Call of Cthulhu and other versions. So the you can pick up a kit and then kind of swap into the set that you want, depending on what game you play. If you play a couple different ones, that type of thing. Uh, so check us out because we're uh, our Kickstarter is live right now for this kit. Yeah. You can sign up for the giveaway to get a set of those cards. And actually, with the Kickstarter, you can do the uh, you know pledge for the the box or all the card added. You know exactly what you need. And then you can add on the decks here. So we have uh, special pricing for 25 bucks for both decks, and then 35 for all the bonuses we did for our previous Kickstarter. You can just add them on to the, the current Kickstarter, and we'll, we'll ship it all out together to you. Um, yeah, this is what we're running right now. Like super excited to very cool. be at Gen Con. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, sir. Enjoy the con, man. How you guys doing? Good. How are you? You, you play D and D? Uh, yeah, I DM. Oh, right on. So these are our DM cards. These are these are made for you. As, as a DM, I can only keep so many things in my head at the same time. Like, yeah. if you give me three things, the fourth one's got to go, right? right, so. right, right. <laughs> and then th th there's a, a deck for the condition cards. So these are the standard 5e conditions. Okay. Uh, and there's a deck for uh, combat stuff. So this is like uh, cover, uh, dying, you know, those types of cards. This is a, like a death save and fail okay. card. I like being really dramatic as a DM. Slam that down in front of my table, in front of my player who's like... You know, making or failing their, their death saves as, as their, their untimely death is approaching closer. Okay. And then the combat deck also has these initiative cards. Oh, um, nice. So people roll, roll for initiative, hand out the cards, I'll keep a few for my monsters, and then just boom, I got my turn order ready to go. I'm not trying to write down everybody's thing or like rearrange it during, during the fly. I just hand out cards and collect them. Um, streamlines uh, combat quite a bit. And this is our uh, sort of uh, current uh, baby pride and joy. It's the okay. uh, dry erase boards for our players. This is stuff like I always want to have mm -hmm. like with me when I'm playing. Um, so it's got all, all your standard stuff for combat. Things that are changing a lot, right? So like right, right. Um, your your hit points uh, are moving down all the time, right? They're going up and down. You're getting healed, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. So make it a dry like stop destroying your character sheet. Right. Make right. it into a dry erase board. Make it easy to do. Plus the DM can look over and see your AC. So okay. when he's rolling, he doesn't have to like keep asking people yeah, yeah, what your yeah, AC yeah, is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so the, the whole kit has the dry erase boards, the action cards, the dice, and we package it in. This is a like laser engraved uh, dice box, oh, nice. uh, and it's it's a, a really nice wood. It's a walnut, uh, like hard hardwood to keep keep all of your player kit stuff ready to go. And you can throw a couple you know sets of dice in here, okay. throw your figure in there, and then hopefully we get to the do our stretch goals and we'll have like inspiration tokens and additional like little uh, bennies, depending on what, you know what system you're playing, right, that type right, of thing. Right, right. You yeah. can throw them in there. And then if, if you can add, you can do these as an add-on. So for 25, you get both. 35 for everything. You can throw those into your your player kit. Bam! You're ready to go for your adventure. Okay. You've got your stuff packaged up. Just head out the door, and you're you're ready for your your next game. Cool. That's yeah. cool. Like you said, you said this is live on Kickstarter now. Yes, it is. Yep. Cool. If you go to Kickstarter right now, you can search for RPG. Oh, it's right here. RPG player kit. Okay. Uh, or Crit Games will mm -hmm. will show up. And we're, we're we're halfway there. We're trying to trying to like hit the next uh, uh, milestone to you know get get these on, on the way and get them to players and make it make it happen. So no, that's why I'm I'm always on the lookout for like different sort of like player aids or game aids to like make the game run smoother and like oh, my totally. own memory. And so that's 
that's pretty cool. I like the I like the uh, the condition cards. I think a lot. I'm oh, like, totally. I remember who's charmed and who's got what, and who's this, and, who's <laughs> and what it means. So. I'm always forgetting like, oh, when they attack you, what what exactly is is that just disadvantage? Oh, just just call it disadvantage. If you don't have the, the information there, you're just like, all right, well. <laughs> cool. Thank you for that. I appreciate. Yeah. it. I got the cards. Guys, Thank you. Yeah. Right on. How you guys doing? How you doing? Hey. You play D&D? &D? <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. What's, uh, what's this? We're doing, um, we did the Kickstarter last year for D&D &D 5th edition okay. with these um, uh, condition cards and combat cards. And we're running a current Kickstarter, which is a little player kit. Uh, so these are for your DM. Uh, they would hand it out as a reference. They have a quick rule on the back. Uh, so they hand it out to my player. He can see what's going on when he does concentration. You don't forget it because it's sitting in front of them. So th those are these two decks. Uh, this is our... Our, our current Kickstarter, which is the RPG player kit. And the idea is, these are things I always want when I'm playing the game, especially as a player, right? So like, um, things that are changing a lot, like your, your hit points in combat, uh, using up your hit dice, um, putting the AC down so your DM can look across the table and see what is your AC, he doesn't have to keep asking you what it is. You can check off your inspiration on, on the side there for, for fifth edition stuff, and they keep whatever notes that you need, and it's, it's ready to go. We, we actually talked with a lot of different um, dry race manufacturers to get like the right like look and feel style and, okay. and, and everything put, put together. The kit also has um, the color-coded uh, dice set. So the idea is um, if, if you're a new player and you don't know, you know which dice are which, you can say, oh, hey, do, tell do the orange one, one, do the, yeah, you roll the red one. Um, or you can get a, like a bunch of them and do like your damage rolls really easily, right? Like if you want to do advantage, pull, pull two red D20s throw them down, you can do your advantage really easily, okay. um, or hey, roll your damages 2d8, so grab, just reach in, grab blues, right, and throw them down, you're done. And then um, we're also doing, as part of the player kit, these are action cards. So the concept is, these are your, your standard um, actions, you have, you know, melee, range, they walk you through exactly what each one is. Um, what's really helpful is like, um, let's say you do like a readied action, which means you do something on a later turn. You, sure. can, you, can, you can put that down and say, okay, on a later turn, I'm going to use this object when, the, when this happens. And what I like doing is, especially I have like a lot of players at my table, it, they can pre-select all of their actions ready to go. And it's really easy for me as a DM to like zip through all my players and I know exactly what they have because they've, they've sort of gone through and pre-selected. Right, so they, they can already say, all right, I, they, they can just hold up. Yep, they got it ready to go. 
I'm, um, I'm doing a thing. This is the thing I'm doing. All right. Yep, exactly. And with the player kit, we're doing a thing where uh, people have been suggesting different RPG systems they're interested in. Yeah. So we added on uh, Pathfinder and Savage Worlds. If you play play those systems, and we're looking to add on uh, Call of Cthulhu. Working here with uh, uh, Chaosium, who's, who's okay. here at, here at Gen Con, but adding right. in basically a set of cards based on what system you play, so you can you know, basically swap that into your player kit. So you have have your you know your your uh, actions ready to go for it. Okay. And then uh, so th this guy, so this is on um, right now. So you can actually pick up the. Uh, player kit. Just go to uh, crickgames.com, okay. and on our landing page has the player kit linked to the Kickstarter. Uh, and then uh, we're adding, actually doing a special price for our previous Kickstarter for 25 bucks. You can pick up both of the the, the decks. Okay. And then we had a bunch of bonus cards we on there as well. So for 35, you can get both decks plus all the Kickstarter bonuses we did previously to package in with your your Kickstarter it's pledge. So together. it's a big yeah big pack, package deal. So, ship, so it, ship this would be what you hand them. Yeah. Now this would be in there, and then. Like the, uh, some car the cards yeah. would be in, you'd put the cards in there. Yeah, so the player kit, player kit looks like this. Okay. So you have your dry erase, action, your dice, um, and then I want to do this as, as a stretch goal once, once we want to reach it. And if you if you do the whole kit, you can actually throw in your, your cards as well. Okay. And then away you go. You're ready to go for your your, your gaming event and, nice. okay. and, and take it away. And then these are for what again? So, right so for fifth edition, it's inspiration. So you can oh. actually hand someone the inspiration token and hand it back when you use it. Okay. In uh, Savage Worlds, they have a concept, similar idea, they're called bennies. Um, you can get like uh, one or oh, more okay. bennies during the course of the game. Um, so you'd hand them out and you kind of spend them the same way as inspiration when you want so like, to like roll. Kind of track that. Yeah, it's a way okay. to track it. And, and these are player oriented, right? Like a player receives it and they when they spend it, they hand it, hand it back to the, the DM gotcha, or GM. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that, that's, that's a concept. And then right. your players can have them ready to go, something physical, and enjoy your game. Just so like, you basically just like have uh, however many, like if you've got five players to play with, you just have five of these. You just yeah. Like, here you go, here, each you, go, player here can, you go. Each player can grab them, it's, and you can have a set for your DM for his, you know, his uh, right, uh, so condition in combat. There's more stuff in here. All right. So oh, yeah. Cover. It's got a. So you can have basically all that. Okay, cool. Yep, yep, yep. All right, cool. I'll check it out. Thanks. How you doing? Pretty good, how are you? You're doing well. Do you play D&D? &D? I don't. Oh, okay. It, this is for 5th edition. Really good to get players into the game okay. and kind of teach the rule system, that type of thing. We're running a Kickstarter right now. It's called a RPG Player Kit. Mm -hmm. So it has you know, the basics that you need to get off the ground as a player. Nice. And these are um, action cards that come with it. So the concept is, you know, with, with role-playing games, it's like very open, right? Like a lot of players don't know what to do or what, what are the things that you can do. So this this deck has your oh yeah very cool. So it has your your standard actions for and this deck is for fifth edition. So okay. It has all your fifth edition standard actions for Dungeons and Dragons. Yep. Uh, and the red ones are your your standard um, actions you like you do in combat. The blue ones are your your movement. Uh, okay. So the different types of movement. If you're you know if you're crawling, if you're swimming, um, if you're um, you know running, jumping, that type of thing. It has it has the rules ready to go there on the back. So That's sweet. what what I do with my players is I'll especially for like a bigger game of players, um, have all my players have their action cards and then select them like pre-select them. So as a DM, um, they're ready to go, right? They, and they can lay down on the table. They can say, well, I'm going to ready an action. I'm going to use this this object uh, when this happens in the game. And then um, I'm going to use this this movement type, right? So nice. they'll, they'll move their guy. This is laying down in front of them, so I know what's happening. Yeah. And their turn turn is up That's and nice. ready and re ready to go. That's nice. And then let me get one of your cards. Yeah, right on, man. Cool. I appreciate that. And we're we're doing a giveaway right now for these guys because uh, because of the Kickstarter. Uh, so if you go to CritGames.com, uh, there's links uh, for our giveaway. We're oh, okay. Basically, you watch the Kickstarter video and sign up for a mailing list, and you can enter to win cool. uh, a set of these guys. Um, you can also uh, pledge for the Kickstarter, all the things that you want. If you want the dice out of it, if you want the dry erase, 
or just the, just the box, depending yeah. what you need, right? Awesome. Um, you can do it that way, and you can add on sets of these guys as well as, as part of your pledge. It's really easy to do the, do the add-on with it. It's pretty neat. But yeah. Sounds good. Good idea, man. I like that. <laughs> easy crash course to get people into it. Oh, absolutely. How are you doing, sir? I've never had it. just so much of the product. That's right, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. You play 5th uh, edition? Yeah, I do. Oh, right on. So we, we did a Kickstarter last year. These are the commission cards and combat cards. And we're running a, a current Kickstarter that's on there right now for the RPG player kit, which okay. has the, uh, so this is for more for like DMs yeah. and helping them play their game. Uh, this is for, for players and helping streamline the things that they need to manage. So for the, the commission cards, it's got your, your standard uh, 5e conditions and then the quick rules reference on the back. So what I do as a DM is I'll um, let's say they're deafened I'll hand out that card to that player. It's sitting in front of them. If they need to reference the rules, they just flip it over, and you're, you're there ready to go. And you can keep that keep the flow going in your game. And so that has all of your your standard 5e stuff. This is a deck for uh, combat cards. So these are things you need in combat. So concentration, I'm always forgetting as, as a DM. Rules for cover, is it half, three fourths, full? What does that mean exactly? Uh, there's cards in there for dying. So when you go into the dying dying state, it's an actual condition. And then there's yeah. there's things in there for uh, the, the death save and fail. <laughs> and it's really loud. <laughs> yeah, these are these are the death saves and fails. So like when my players are rolling their, their death save, I'll throw down the, the fail or the the when you make it. So it, there's, there's six of these guys and the four of each type uh, for for your players. And then this is a set of inspiration cards. So one, one through six, what I, what I do is I have people roll for initiative, hand out the cards, keep a few for the monsters, and then it just really streamlines through the combat. I don't keep asking, I don't have to figure out or write it down, like who, who's wearing the turn order. Yeah. I just go through the numbers, done. And then for our, our player kits, this is stuff that uh, players uh, need. And instead of you know erasing and writing yeah. on your character sheet a billion times until that thing burns out, you have your hit points, temporary hit points, hit dice, the uh, death saves, you can, you can take them off there in front of you. AC, so as a DM, I can just like, look in yeah. front of you and see your, your AC. Uh, you can tick here if you want to like, keep track of your inspiration and like spending and using it, and then extra notes for what, you know, what's happening in the combat. So our player kit comes with the, um, the action cards, the player dry erase, the, the dice, and then uh, the, the dice box. So, and, and you can all cart things in, like if you want to yeah. do just the dice box or just, just a card set or um, my favorite thing is actually the, the dry erase. Like I really yeah. love these guys to handle my combat for me. Um, and then we want to do, um, so we're about halfway there on our Kickstarter. So if you're, if you're thinking about doing it, you should definitely do it so we can make this a reality. Um, and then you, you can also pick up you know, these guys when yeah. you do it. So you can get the, the full set for 25. And then for, for 35, you can do an add-on of that plus all of our bonuses we did for the previous Kickstarter. You can just bundle it in with, with the current Kickstarter and we'll just ship everything yeah. to you all, all together. But yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, right on. Good to meet you, sir. <laughs> How you guys doing?
you ever wonder what it's like working at a convention, you got it. A lot of this, watching people. And standing. <laughs> guys doing? <laughs> this is it right here actually. Oh. Uh, so I'm Robert. I'm from Crick Games. I started a company last year for these guys. These are fifth edition condition cards and combat cards. You guys play RPGs? You play D&D? Oh right on. Okay. Yeah, so, so these guys, um, as a DM, you can hand out the condition to the player on the reverse side is the quick roll reference for it. Um, a lot of times I play with new players and they just want to know, um, what, you know what, what the rules are behind it. You don't have to look inside of a book. Or even if you've been playing for a long time, it's a visual cue on the table. Hey, this guy is under this. I won't forget that you know, he's blinded, invisible, what, you know, what have you. And then we, we made a second deck with our Kickstarter. These are the combat cards. So these are things you need in combat. Concentration, cover, is it you know, half, three-fourths. Uh, dying cards with the, the save and the fail. These are the, the save and fail cards. So if you like, if you succeed, throw that down in front of a player. You fail, put the failure down. It track, tracks your untimely death as you're as you're bleeding out in, in the game. And then there's a set of uh, initiative cards. Uh, so I'll have my players roll for initiative, and then I'll hand out the cards, streamline combat, make it really easy. You're, you're not you know trying to keep track of who's doing what and what turn order, where my monsters are. And then this is our current uh, Kickstarter. It's on. Uh, so, so, uh, so this comes in this deck, and one through six is, is part of this this deck for for fifteen. Yeah, um, and then this this deck is also fifteen. And then for our Kickstarter, so this is for like DMs, right? For our Kickstarter, we're doing something for our players. Um, I always love having stuff like this around where things that are changing a lot, right? So this is a, a player dry erase board for different combat stuff. So your hit points, your temporary hit points, you know, things that are coming and going. You don't have to you know, erase and write on your character sheet until that thing dies. Um, you're spending and using your, your resting, getting your hit, your hit dice back. You can track your death uh, saves here by just you know, checking it off. It, you know, it's easy to do with dry erase. It's got uh, armor class on there. So as a DM, I'm looking across the table, and I know, hey, that guy has that AC. I don't want to keep asking people for their, yeah. their AC or trying to you know, figure it out what is on the, on the character sheet. And that's for inspiration. So you can tick it off if you have inspiration or not. And an extra spot for notes. And we're doing this as uh, you can either do all cart on the Kickstarter. Like if you like, just wanted the dry erase board or another piece, you can do it that way. Or do it as, as the kit. So the whole kit is, uh, comes in a little dice box that's uh, laser engraved. Our burst side has like the um, reference for the, the dice and then, you know, crickgames.com. And then the kit comes with, this is a deck of action cards. And, w and actually what we're doing, the, the player kit is uh, something a little different this time. So we, we have all the 5e stuff done and then people have been like, requesting different systems. So we've been adding in different systems. So we have Pathfinder, uh, Savage Worlds. Um, we're gonna uh, be adding on uh, Call of Cthulhu. We can, we're working with them for the licensing for that. Uh, and then somebody suggested Cypher system. I haven't played that one before, but like adding on cards for it. But the concept is um, you hand these out to your players and the, the blue ones in this deck are your movement types. The red ones are your standard actions, like you're, you're attacking or doing something that's using up your action for your turn. And then it's, there's a reference for your bonus and reaction. And you know, if your character has it, you, you have a reference for it, whether or not you used it, right? Um, and so, what it, uh, especially for like uh, larger tables, a lot of players, one easy thing to do is, is have them pre-select the stuff they're gonna do for their turn, right? So I'm gonna ready, I'm gonna ready an action. Uh, if this guy runs by me, um, you know, I'll, I'll cast this particular spell, right? So I'll, I'll lay those down, have those ready to go, uh, and then maybe I use my movement this turn. I and um, I do, I walk across some difficult terrain. What does that mean? And I have the have it ready to go, and I just go around the table. Everyone's ready to go. Um, also, I, I taught my wife how to play um, RPGs uh, the past couple of years, and like one of the, one of her things, she didn't know like 
what can you do, right? Like, what are the, the basic things you can do? You hand someone the deck, you'll be like, hey, like, th th here's your set of like standard things you can do, pick out the things you want, and just, you know, play it like, you play it down to the table like, like, like a game then. And then with our, our color-coded dice, this comes with a little reference card for it. So, um, okay, I, I want to throw some D12s down, I just look in, oh, grab my oranges, ready to go. Or um, if you had a couple sets, just grab the reds, right? Advantage, disadvantage, pull them out, ready to go, roll and you're done. And then this, this little player kit, it'll hold everything, and then you use it as a dice box uh, when, you're, when you're playing your games. And th this, this we're going to be doing as a uh, stretch goal. These are like um, inspiration tokens you can throw out. Or if you play Savage World, it'll be like a Benny, right? So you can get a crew a bunch of Bennies and use, using your system. Um, so, so definitely check us out. We're halfway there on our Kickstarter for the RPG uh, player kit. Um, we're doing a giveaway uh, for these cards. So um, if you go to crickgames.com, there's some links to the giveaway, or in the Kickstarter, there's some links to it, but you can win a set of these. It's actually pretty easy to sign up. It's basically like, look at, look at the Kickstarter and then like join our mailing list for our, our promotions that we're doing. So it's a pretty good deal, like both, both ways you look at it. We're giving, giving away a set of these um, that we did previously. It, um, also for the Kickstarter, you can basically all the cart what you want. So if you want to get a dry erase board, you want to pick up uh, the decks, um, you can basically select, select the goal for the, the one item type for the RPG player kit, and it's add on. You can add on the, the the cards here. We're actually doing a special for the cards. 25, you go, go through the Kickstarter, and then we actually did a bunch of bonus cards for that previous one, which you can pick up for 35. So that's like everything our previous Kickstarter, and then kind of pick what you want on, on the current one. So, so these guys, these guys are, are available now, and this is our, our new our new hotness for um, for Gen Con and for yep stuff that's happening. So we're we're looking to you know mass produce these guys to make it you know easy to to get to you know get on get on the table. Try to ask you a difficult question. Sure. Okay. All right. Can, will you be able to send this to South America? Um, I can send it anywhere. It'll be a little pricey to get it to South South America, but I, I can definitely do it. And if you're doing like a kit for a table, that type of thing, I had, I had a guy sign up from France, and he, he basically bought sets for his entire table. Like all his players are getting these, uh, getting these sets ready to go, and then. Um, when, when they're when they're packaged that way, I can do like a flat rate shipment, with, and it tracks the whole way. It's nice and straightforward. Um, a, a single one, like if I was to send like a single deck to a place, it, it's like around it's around like thirty, um, well about twenty five thirty bucks to, to send just the decks. But if you're doing like you know the whole kid or like you know pe people come you know come in on it that type of thing, it actually makes sense. And then you can I can send it like a big box down wherever across the world, and it actually works out. So <laughs> where, where are you guys from then? Oh, right on. Okay. And you, you came in for Gen Con? Yeah. Oh, oh all right. I'm, I'm from... It is a long trip. I, I came from Portland, Oregon. It was about five hours to get here, but it was just two hops on a plane and I'm done. There's no, like, international flights, like, none of that. 16 hours plane and 9 hours driving. Oh, okay. Well, it's good to have you here. Um, yeah, no, like, check, check out our Kickstarter and see if your gaming group's into it and uh, we'll work something out. Like, it's... I'll, I'll figure out a way to get it to you guys. <laughs> Good to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, enjoy you being here. The Kickstarter on your website? There is. If you go to critgames.com, it's right there on the landing page, ready okay. to go. So the the I'm kick liking this. This is pretty darn cool. Oh, thanks, I man. I assume these are initiative cards. Those are initiative so cards. Whoever rolls, whoever's first, you just give them a card. Absolutely. I kind of like that. I usually <laughs> use an app, but I, I like the idea of going, who's first? Yep. Get a card. The, the other thing, the thing to do with these guys is. Um, to, if you have like a big group, yeah. um, I'll just mix up the cards in my hand and just like hand them out to people. Oh, if you have it, if you nice. have like uh, a like special bonus on your initiative, I'll give you two. Take the best one and just buzz around the table. No, no rolling dice and trying to do the numbers that type of thing. Just hand all the cards, pull them back kind of in. A cool idea. Done. I like that too. And and these guys, we actually did uh, as a Kickstarter for last year. These two decks. Okay. Uh, but we're adding it in as a add-in for our current one. So okay. you, you, can, you can basically all cart pick what you want out of the RPG player kit. Yeah. And then add in. We're doing a special for 25 for the set of both of these. And then we have a bunch of bonus cards we did for the Kickstarter. So for 35 add-on, you can actually you know pick what you want from here. Add in all of these guys, and, and away you go. It'll, you know everything will ship out all all together. All right. So for the, the did you get the spiel for this guy, or this is the this is the RPG player kit? So these are like for DMs, right. for your your conditions yep. and your combat cards. It has all the different uh, things you need for combat. Yeah. These are for players, and the okay. idea is it has um, you know basically a little package deal of everything you need for your players. Yeah. There's a set of these guys. These yeah. are action cards. Yeah. And we're doing different sets of these. So oh, we had nice. we had backers that wanted uh, different systems. So we started with 5e. We've added on uh, Pathfinder and Savage Worlds, oh, and we're man. talking with the um, Chaosium folks for Call of Cthulhu oh, to add on. Do you have any of these available now? Uh, these are available now. 
the, the condition and the combat cards. Uh, these ones, I'm working the Kickstarter right now to get this funded. Like but these are, you can add these on for, with the Kickstarter. Absolutely, yeah. Will they, they be add-ons? Will they be like a stretch goal? It's an add-on. I, I have a bunch available now, so and I, I can I, I can them. If I bought them now, I wouldn't get them twice if I if I back the hell out. Correct. Of them. Yep. It's it's a pure add-on. Uh, these, these retail retail for 15. You can actually get them. Tabletop Bazaar has these decks around the corner here. Um, or if you package them, so 15 each. Or if you package them with a Kickstarter, I'm doing a 25 for both, and then 35 for this plus all the bonuses hey, so we did. Uh, head head right around the corner here for Tabletop Bazaar. Awesome. And let me give you our cards so you can find us. We're also doing a giveaway, so all check right. that out. That's this is this is a great idea. I really like this. Oh, thanks, man. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna check you out on, on Kickstarter. What what uh, RPGs do you play? You, you just named them. Okay. <laughs> He's like, I have one group that is 5e, and I have one group that is Savage Worlds, and we like all, alternate uh, between. Pathfinder's our main game. Yeah. Uh, we, we do some 5e as well. It's not quite as popular with my group, unfortunately. I love it. I think it's great. Sure. But some of the, I got some guys who are like, eh, we like Pathfinder. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we, we mostly Pathfinder, but uh, we, we branch out. We've done some, some Savage Worlds. Okay. Uh, we, we play a lot of different games. Okay. So, uh, yeah, uh, for, for Pathfinder, these sets, like these are the 5e conditions, but there yeah. is overlap. So yeah. like um, Pathfinder has more conditions than 5e does, like yeah. 5e took, took a bunch out. Yeah, yeah. And then what we're recommending people, if they are Pathfinder, they're interested in this, like they love the artwork. So you, you can use them as a Pathfinder deck yeah. without the rules reference. Yeah. Um, or, you know, whatever works for you. And these, yeah, yeah. You know, these, these are system agnostic. Wow, um, these are, uh, oh, yeah. That's massive. I, I, I pride myself, like when I sit down to play, like a tabletop game and I have my, my friends around the table, that type of thing. Like I like having that experience around it and like if I'm gonna dedicate this this time uh, for this type of activity, I wanna have like really good tactile feel yeah. for the different things that I'm using yeah. and, and just make it like a fun experience, right? Yeah, so it's a, nice, it's, a, it's a good little reference thing. Oh yeah. Um, this is like my favorite thing in the kit is the yeah. dry erase board. So Yeah. I mean I keep track of all that on my sheet, but uh, a lot of my friends do it on the table because I have like a big mat, you know, like a Chessex mat. Oh yeah, yeah. To the table. Okay, so yeah. So you can just write on the table. That's where most people. Yeah, that, that works. But something like that is very handy. They can stop keeping track of it on the table. <laughs> yeah. You know, dry erase or wet erase or whatever. Yeah, totally. Uh, so yeah, the, yeah. yeah and, I, and I'm loving these. This is a great idea. So th this is going to be our stretch goal uh, for our first one coming in. I really want to make these. These are um, and just throw them in the kit. So people get a kit, they get one of these for free. Yeah. It's, these it's, are, it's inspiration. Yeah. So you can you your player has it. The DM can, you can exchange yep. it right as currency. Yep. For Savage Worlds, they work as bennies, yep. right? So you can get like uh, a few different bennies going. Yep. Um, and a lot of games have that, right? Like extra token yeah, you yeah, need for your absolutely. player, that type of thing. Yeah. So, so ch check us out. We're, we're halfway that. there. Like awesome, we're, we're, we're trying to make that, that slog for the second yeah, half. Yeah. So. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, good luck to you. Yeah. Thanks, man. Sharpie, dude. I'm going to write on Yeah, it. man. I, I collect cards and then I get home and I go, I don't know. Like, what was this, this about? Yeah. There you awesome. go. I can write on here. Actually, here's my full contact stuff on there. Here's my email ready to go. Because I think, I think that'll smudge off because it's like a, a shiny finish. These things write on everything. Okay. And then if you, yeah, if you sign up for um, the, the giveaway, you'll have a chance to win a set of these. Okay. Is that here or? Uh, just go to the web, go to quickgames.com. Yeah, it's online. And, okay. you, and you'll find it. It's a couple clicks in on, on the website, but it's pretty easy to find. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, game on, man. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> Good yeah. to be you. Yeah. Um, you know what? It looks like you hire artists. I do hire artists. I'm an Are artist. you an artist? Yeah, I've been in the RPG business for about 20 years. Excellent. Uh, I was the, the guy behind Ravenloft for a oh, cool, yeah. edition. That was, I was one of the head artists on that. Right on. So okay. I'm give you my card. It's got your portfolio here ready to yeah, go? Uh, the, oh, uh, DeviantArt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The DeviantArt page is going to be the most updated. My actual website, which is technically there, is about okay. 10 years out of date. It had some technical issues. I can't update it. Okay, thank so, you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, check me out and just see if you, uh, you, know, if you ever need any, any art for Right on. Look my way, I'm almost always available. Yeah, thank you, sir. You, you do like digital and? Uh, no, I do uh, physical media. Uh, I work mostly in marker. I actually have my portfolio. Can, like can you scan it. stuff? Like oh, yeah, got you. Okay, okay. Yeah, I send it to you digitally. Okay, yeah, yeah. But yeah, the art itself, <laughs> if you'd like to take a look, I yeah, sure. have my portfolio, which is upside down, I think. Oh, That's beautiful. Oh, I yeah. love that. Turn it over to the front. There you go. That's the most recent. There we go. I'm actually doing a live stream right now, so we can show off your stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hello, live stream. Yeah, this is on Periscope and YouTube. And no, no, these are all falling out. But yeah, I, I work mostly in Copic Marker and yeah, uh, Color Pencil. Yeah, these are pencil, beautiful, I man. Use, I use some uh, 
uh, acrylic. Yeah, uh, these are these are gorgeous. Thank you, thank you very much. What what uh, RPG systems have you done stuff for? Uh, you said Raven Lawn. I have worked for yeah a lot. Of, I, I did a lot of stuff in the uh, the, the D twenty yeah uh, era before the before the D twenty bubble burst. <laughs> yeah. I did a lot of stuff for White Wolf. Here, hi. this is Talon Dunning. Yeah. <laughs> Hire this guy. He's a really good artist. Awesome, thank you. Uh, t uh, Talonart. Dot com. Yes, talentart.com, yeah. Um, I love it. So you, you don't know I love like the stark contrast of things, like the black, yeah. black, white uh, with like that, that was splatters. A, uh, uh, an 80s Iron Age uh, superhero role playing game. Love it. So yeah. I, I, I looked at Iron Age comic books, I looked at their covers, they were always these sort of very graphic, very yeah. simplistic, you know, like the Dark Knight Returns. Like Japanese style. Like. Yeah, so that's that was what I went for this. I wanted very much a reminiscent of that era. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love the like, comic book y uh, style effect to it as well. Yeah, like, yeah. That's, that's a nice way yeah. of doing it. Yeah, these are great too, like cover art. Yeah, and, and then uh, sketches. Uh, I usually work this show, but uh, okay. this year I didn't, and uh, I, I do uh, PC portraits for nice. people. So yeah, these are great. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. I'll, I'll definitely check out your your portfolio. Yeah. We're always looking for um, uh, artists to work on with different projects. So yeah. for for this one, we actually worked with four different artists to put yeah, the, those decks together. This is great stuff. This is beautiful. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's one of the things that drew me. I saw this. this <laughs> real poster, and I was like, well, that looks like good art. Yeah. And I always, yeah, like, to, always like to see somebody I would consider small press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting out really good art. You, you that, can. That, that to me shows that you care about your product yeah. and the way your product looks, so, and that impresses me. So um, the biggest um, struggle I had to put this set together was yeah. actually going through hundreds and hundreds of portfolios oh to find God. Um, artists that I could work with and like yeah. like do really yeah, uh, I've, put, I've, put something together like a project like this, I've right? I've small press publishing, so yeah. yeah I, I that. Here's all the stuff I for Ravel. That's not all of it. Yeah, these are great. Yeah, that's the, I, I was I did a lot of their portraits and I did the cover for for the previous edition of Tour. So. Yeah, this, that's beautiful, man. I got I got your card. You got my card. Yeah, so. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Thanks yeah. a lot. I appreciate it. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your con, all man. Right. Thanks a lot. Bye, internet. Yay. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Um, I'm not particularly familiar with them. I've read a little bit about Oh My God, Man, but I had like, a diplomacy game. Oh, you like negotiation? Yeah, kind of. It's a really weird game. There's, like, if you make it a Gen Con, or we're here right now, go check out the Artist Corner. It's right down the way. There's a whole bunch of really good artists from all over the industry. Uh, you can check it out. Say hi to different folks here. Um, they have some great stuff. Just met one just, just a bit ago. Gamers are awesome people. Every gamer I met is a good person. How you doing? You play D and D? Yeah, oh, right on. Um, so we're Crit Games. Uh, my name is Robert. Uh, Robert, we did a, a Kickstarter last year. These are the condition cards and the combat cards. So as a DM, you have a set of 5th edition Dungeons Dragons conditions that you can hand out to your players. It's got a rule reference on the back, ready to go. Oh, Never forget. Really <laughs> that list is so long. <laughs> and then uh, the Kickstarter went well, so we did a second deck. Uh, these are the uh, combat cards, the things you need in combat. You know, concentration, if your wizard's concentrating, it's got cover, death, dying, all, all your basic... Um, uh, fit, yeah. Yep, fifth edition. Everything, everything for the the cards here is uh, fifth edition. And then it has a set of initiative cards, so it comes with one through six with the the combat card set. 
Um, this is for all my players' role for initiative. Hand out a card, keep, keep a couple for my monsters, and then that really streamlines your turn order for your, your combat ready to go. And then really happy with how that Kickstarter turned out. We actually bumped up like card quality, did like a linen stocks, so have a nice glide on them. Uh, worked with four different artists to put this together. And then we're back um, here at Gen Con to do our current project, which is a um, RPG player kit. So, so this is for your DMs, this is for your players. Uh, this is my kind of favorite piece to it. It's a little dry erase board that's got um, all of your basics uh, for combat, your hit points, temporary, your hit dice, death saves, notes. You can put a, your AC down so I don't have to remember everybody's AC or like keep asking everybody, oh, does, does 12 hit your AC, does 15 hit your AC? You just got it right there and I can see it on the table. Uh, you can track your inspiration okay. in the corner with a, the little laurel mark right there. Well, I admit, I, I don't play fifth ed, but okay. um, uh, I like it, but I don't necessarily care for your niche idea. Okay, be yeah, honest. sure. Because, um, you know, if I'm GMing and I hand out these cards, I have to look around and be like, hey, which card do you have Oh, you, you just go through the order. Uh, just one, one, one through six, so, just call it out. So that's the only thing that I'm just like, sure. eh. <laughs> sure. Yeah, you, you don't have to use it. I mean, it's 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 there as a as right. a player aid and help. Or like like maybe if you could like scan the cards. Yeah, there you go. But you can get like a, um, a poker tray. Or something, you know, on the back. Uh, well, they have the the little uh, like bridge hands or poker trays that like yeah. sit in front of you. You can just slot it into that, and away you go. You put it under your, your box. Oh, there you go. That's a good idea. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it's, it's for, so for these, this is a laser engraved uh, dice box, oh. and it's got. Um, games and the dice on on the reverse side and then it comes with a set if you go with the whole player kit on our kickstarter there's a set of uh, color-coded dice uh, so it's easy to find it easy to get the the dice um, out of your bag and make it happen um, fits inside you put your your player inside we're looking to do uh, stretch goals for the um, inspiration coins or if you play like savage worlds it'd be bennies or that type of thing oh, okay. So there's all usually in game system there's like a bonus or yeah, like associated like with the players hero, point hero points or, or yeah, that type of thing, yeah. Story and then point, whatever it is. and then these are our action cards. So the idea of action cards is we're making sets of these based off of what um, flavor RPG that you play. So we're doing this set is for a fifth edition. Um, working with uh, Pathfinder, we're doing a Pathfinder set, and with Savage Worlds, we're doing the licensing for a set for Savage Worlds, okay. and we uh, we're hoping to be able to do Call of Cthulhu. A lot of people play that game. I was just about to mention Call of Cthulhu. So Chaosium is here. Um, go, I'm gonna go head over and, and uh, work out getting a set of these done for that. But you can pick up um, basically all a cart for what you'd like in, in terms of the player kit. And then as an add-on, we're doing a special um, add-on for these guys for 25. And then these guys plus all of the um, Kickstarter bonuses is 35. So you can actually pick up everything we did previously on the last year's Kickstarter on the current one as an add-on. And with, with special pricing, we'll ship everything out uh, together in one, one, one batch go. And then you can you can either pick up the whole kit, or you can you know grab like for ten bucks you can pick up a, a player board or you know if you don't want the dice set you know you have, you have plenty of dice like you know, that's cool you can do it that way. They're easy to read. They are easy to read. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so if you go to crickgames.com, it has our um, as, as a main landing page this guy, and then uh, we're also doing a giveaway for these guys in honor of the Kickstarter and Gen Con. Which you can sign up for. You just, just yeah, head to crickgames.com. A, a click in is our, our giveaway, or on our Kickstarter we have uh, like a update that gives you links to the giveaway. Um, it's super easy to enter in. All you have to do is um, watch the Kickstarter video and then sign up for our mailing list so we can hand out additional promos in the future, that type of thing. Um, you know, su super easy to do. We're giving out a set of these guys uh, in in honor of these two things happening. So. All right. Yeah, check, check us out online. Pledge. We're halfway there. We're trying to like get that second second leg and make well, things happen. I think so once you start applying to other games, you know, other than Fifth Ed. Right. I, uh, God, I haven't followed Fifth Ed recently. What would you like to see? I bet you've just been so caught up in Pathfinder. Sure. All right, man. Yeah, we'll, we're doing a set for Pathfinder, so check yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's why I took the card off. We might come back. Cool, man.
I just realized you have a wonderful view of that trash can in the corner. It's all right. There's trash cans in every single pathway around here. Doesn't matter where you point the camera. But also, you don't have to the bottom. Actually, it's kind of fun to stream, have the internet play along with me. It feels like I'm not alone sitting at a table. <laughs> I hope, hope you guys have been enjoying this. This is Gen Con 2017. It's the 50th anniversary of Gen Con. A ton of people here. How you guys doing? Hello? Awesome goat. How you doing? If you're at Gen Con, head down aisle 2300. You can find me right now, actually. We're doing this live. This is live at Gen Con 2017. I'm Robert from Crit Games. Check out our stuff. We got our Kickstarter going on right now. Trying, trying, trying. Get this Kickstarter done, get it to you guys. Got a lot of cool stuff. A lot of things we want to do as stretch goals as well. How are you guys doing? Show you guys. There's the lid. You can see it. How you doing? And the kits. We're streaming it up. How you doing, man? You had a whole bunch of boxes here, and now gone. So. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, they're flying up the floor. All right. Yeah, this was like three, three thick here. We don't want to go. Big stack here. Right on. How many more uh, condition combat stuff do you have on hand? Uh, whatever's on the table, and I think that might be it. Whatever's on the table. The last of it? Hey, all right. I think so, yeah. Oh. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll have to check under the table, but I don't think I've seen any under there. So. Okay. Yeah, ah, good deal. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Are you the guy that created them? Yeah. I, awesome. This was our last year's Kickstarter, these two guys. Do you, 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 uh, you RPGs? I just started playing D and D recently. Right on. Yeah, so I've okay. done three or four sessions. Um, so I'm still kind of getting into it, but I like it. Cool. Yeah, no check. So let me give you our card, man. You got to check us out. So we're we're running a current Kickstarter for RPG player kits. So it'll work we're for Five E, and we're working with other systems to add in other flavors of it. So you can pick up a kit, uh, get a, get one for Five E, get one for Savage Worlds, Pathfinder, awesome. whatever you guys play, uh, and then these guys. So these are specific for 5e. They have the, the rules reference for 5e on them, uh, but super uh, easy for new players. Just like get in the game and go for it. So okay, cool. Yeah, I'd be curious to check those out. I, I run the retail shop and the giveaway. If you oh, did, sweet. If you, you can. <laughs> everyone's eligible. So. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely check it out. Thanks, man. Yeah. I'll hang out here next to you for a while, but. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs>
the Gen Con 2017 guys live streaming aisle 2300 in the exhibit hall. If you're here, come say hi. If you're enjoying Gen Con vicariously through the internet, or if you find this later, pritgames.com. Kickstarter's going on right now. If you play RPGs, especially fifth edition stuff, check us out. How you guys doing? You play D&D? Yeah. Oh, right on, man. We did a Kickstarter last year for these guys. These are condition cards and right. combat cards. As a DM, I'm always forgetting things, or if there's uh, a multiplicity of things I need to keep in my head at any time, it's really hard to remember what's there. So this is the standard conditions. You throw them down in front of a player, flip it around. It's got the rule reference on the back. They're ready to go. Uh, mark, marks your game that way. Really happy with how all the cards turned out. Interesting. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And this is our second deck. These are uh, combat cards. So these guys, uh, for combat, you know, keeping track of the, the base rules for it, concentration, cover, dying, exhaustion, all, all your like combat stuff is happening. So for the Kickstarter, like we, we went all out for it. We bumped up the cards, lit in card stock, had a bunch of uh, bonus cards that we did for it. Those are the uh, death saves and fails for it. So we're actually doing a, a giveaway uh, for these guys. Um, you can grab our, our card and find the giveaway at uh, crickgames.com to do the, the sign-in. Okay. Um, and we're doing it in honor of Gen Con and our current Kickstarter. Uh, so that one's for uh, DMs. That's what we did last year. Right. We're doing a current one, which is called uh, an RPG player kit. The idea is this is for players, and they would have a uh, dry erase board uh, for combat stuff. So, so this has got the, uh, the hit, hit, hit points you can uh, manage. Uh, it's got your AC on there, inspiration, keep, keep some notes on there, dry erase. When you're, you get healed or damaged, just erase it off and put, put the next one on. This is, like, this is my favorite one in the, in the kit, having these little guys around to like, manage all, all the, the bookkeeping and nuances in combat. Oh, yeah. How are the decks going for right now? Um, you can actually pick up the decks. Um, you, you can order from a website, crickgames.com, or they have a few here at Tabletop Bazaar. They're, they're 15 each. If you do our Kickstarter, we're actually doing a bundle deal. We can get both of them for 25 as an add-on. And then 35 gives you those plus all the different bonuses we did um, as part of the, the Kickstarter special. So you can actually you can pick what you want on, in terms of the RPG kit and then add on you know the, the cards if you want to do it as a uh, bundle but deal. But I can also just do like a $1 pledge for that and just get those. Yeah, totally. Yeah, we can do it that way. Kickstarter is on now until uh, mid-September. Yeah. Thank you very much. And then the, the kit also has, these are the uh, color-coded dice. So they, the idea is um, never have to search for your dice again, right? You just grab the red ones, throw, throw them down. Uh, if you're doing damage, blues are your D8s, right? Grab your D8s. Uh, rolling something that needs you know, D6s, just grab your D6s out of there, ready to go. And then these come with um, action cards. Uh, for the player kits. So this is a set of uh, your standard actions that have um, your base, your, your, your base uh, standard actions in combat, right? So like using an object, helping, it's got melee arranged, um, you can uh, ready an action, and then let's say... Those are the combat cards. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, so as a player I could throw this down and say, okay, I'm going to ready an action, when this happens I'm going to use this object, and then, oh, I'm going to be moving around th this turn. You throw it down to the table. So you have a lot of players. They can basically prep all their moves ready to go, streamlined around the table. Uh, or I play with a lot of new players. So a lot of times in RPGs, they're like, oh, well, what do I do? Like, I'm not sure what I can do. And they can basically go through here and be like, hey, here's, I can, this is, my action is I can, like, cast a spell. I can use it as a dash to get extra movement, that type of thing. And the way we're, we're doing the RPG player kits is uh, we have all the 5e stuff done and then added on uh, Pathfinder. So there's like an action card set we're going to do for Pathfinder, okay. a set for Savage Worlds. And then people have been asking for Call of Cthulhu. Uh, so we're going to work with the Savage Worlds. Savage Worlds. <laughs> it's a different RPG system, right? Uh, no, I know. I have them all. So. Oh, OK. <laughs> I was like, you're at the wrong place, man. This is like, <laughs> no, <I have> <laughs> we're at Gen Con Mega. I actually played Savage Worlds again for like my eighth time. I just can't get into it. So. OK. Oh, no, no worries. But you already have cards for Savage Worlds. We, yes, so we, we have we got the licensing for, for Savage Worlds, and they give us the go-ahead. They say, hey, it looks awesome. Uh, talk to Savage World guys. And then people have been asking for uh, Call of Cthulhu, so I'm going to do a flavor of it for um, How much is the player Call of Cthulhu. The player kit altogether is, is $50, and then it, or you can a la carte. You can do $10 add-ins if you just want the dry erase board as a pledge. So $50? Uh, $50 for the, so this is. Um, What's comes in there? Yeah, so it's, it's a dice box. Okay. So you get a laser engraved dice box, um, which will store everything that comes in the player kit. You can actually. If you pick up these at the same time, they'll fit in there as well. You can keep everything from the from 
uh, you know, it's add-ons all, all in there. Okay. It comes with a, a player dry race board, and it comes with the, the dice, and then action cards. So you can pick your flavor. If you, if you play more than one game, you can throw, throw some more sets in there. Um, it'll fit your miniature inside, so you can just keep everything you need as a player ready to go. And this is what we want to do for our, our stretch goals, is to add these in. Just anyone who's gotten a kit, add these guys in. These will be inspiration for 5e. If you play Savage Worlds, they have Bennies, Bennies yeah. or like Hero Points. So like whatever system you do, you can you use them for, for that purpose. Right? And they're generic stuff. You can basically pack and play ready to go for your game, right? So um, uh, so this is Kickstarter. So we're doing the, these for Kickstarter. These decks, um, they have them for 15 bucks here at the Tabletop Bazaar. They have a little stack of them in the corner. I think they're almost out of them. Or you can order from us, critgames.com. Or if you do the pledge, just add them in because we have a special deal for the, the pricing if you do it if you do it through the, the Kickstarter. I think I already gave you my card. I give you... So here's the deal. Uh, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm a content creator on YouTube. Oh, right on. I definitely stalked you guys during your Kickstarter. Oh, okay. Yeah, right on. And so I was like, okay, I've got I've to swing by because it was one of those things where it, 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 oh, I didn't get in early enough. Okay. Uh, for, for this one. Uh, well, yeah, and, and just overall, I was kind of a fan of what you guys were doing. So oh, cool, man. Thanks. Do you guys do work with a lot of content creators on YouTube? Uh, I... I, I do not. I, I got a few requests to do like reviews for things. Like, I, I, is that the type of stuff you do, like reviews well, for systems? I mean, no. or like, well, okay. yes no, I mean, yes and no. I do do some reviews. I, you know, I work, I'm, I'm a similar brand to like what Nerdarchy, Don Forge, oh, yeah, those yeah. guys, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. You know, I'm, I, I do a weekly stream with those guys. And stuff okay, like that, so cool. I got a similar brand. I'd be happy to do, if you like do an interview or like something along the lines of it. So we're going to be running this through September, about halfway through. Uh, so definitely like... After Gen Con here, um, it's chaos at the moment, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like there's so many. Th I, I'm gonna be working like I'm. I'm running. I'm also a game master here, so I'm gonna be running some games. Uh, I run some games this morning. I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, I get home on Monday, uh, but I have uh, some time off to like whatever whatever time of day. If you want to like hook up an interview or do something, like be fun to like chat it up and like sure, sure. I'd, I'd, meet you guys I'd and love like to connect and see. You know, maybe we'll do. Uh, you know, giveaways, gleam, stuff like that. Oh, absolutely. Success with gleam. Oh, yeah, yeah. To push people to specific URLs, specific Twitter, yeah. expand social media, stuff like that. So uh, I wanted to come by and say because first of all, I, cool. I love these. Oh, thanks, man. I love them. They came out right with 5e, like, right now. It's like, it's so, it's so smart. It's so well done. I, I, I was playing D&D Next and, like, doing everything like that, and I made a set for my own table, and I'm like, well, shoot, like... Like, I need to find, like, some really good artists and, like, make this happen. Like, this, this needs to exist in the world. What was your name? It's Robert. Cody. Cody, Cody good Cody to meet you, man. Cody, 20. This is Juice from Tabletop Gaming with Juice. Oh, right on. Do you, you guys have, like, contacts or, like, I can grab your emails here or something? Or let me, uh, 